Hello everybody, today I am just doing a quick update on my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery um, Field Notes edition and where I'm up to. I've done the Summer Wildflowers, I've kept that one fairly simple. It does go alright with that page there which was the Spring Blooms. I removed a butterfly from this particular page so I've only got the two butterflies on there now. I just thought the other one looked not quite right. This is my Wildflowers, um, the first summer prompt. I've just um, I wrote summer and embroidered that with two strands of embroidery thread. I've got three little buttons here depicting flowers. I've done a green chain stitch up to each of those in three strands of embroidery thread. I had these flowers on my desk. I've, you know, they're just bits of flowers that I've taken apart and I thought well we'll keep it simple and I'll just put some fabric flowers on and I've put a button in the center of those two. This one I folded in half and put a little Suffolk puff in the center of that one. I think that's fine. I put ticking, I think it was upside down, yes I flipped it to the lighter side across the bottom there, a little bit of um, corded lace. I've used there from Lavish Laces as this one is as well, this lovely lace. Uh, the background I've just got a little bit of st uh, running stitch or canvas stitch just to add a little bit of texture in the background. I stamped wildflowers and I just put a little bit of laundry tape on it as well. So that, oh and the doily there of course came from this page here and I just carried it over. So that is my wildflowers. I have started the new prompt now, a very basic start to it. So this is my next page. And this is looking a little bit more summery with the colours now. So I've got my background fabric, then I've just pieced a few pieces of fabric, cotton fabric together there. I think that one's upside down. I might need to flip that the other way. They're only pinned at the moment. They are only pinned into position. I just noticed that that's just a little bit. It's upside down. I didn't realize there was a, a right and a wrong to it. But the flowers tend to go one way, so we, we best keep with that, I think. So, that there. Like that. And then I'll be invisible stitching at all. And this little bit here I I think I ripped from the bottom over here. So we'll put that over there. And my idea was just to have a larger butterfly. Um, like, oh, just pin that on. Okay, I'm thinking just a larger butterfly, you know, like that's heart actually, like that in the center of the page there. Um, I've got a few things going on at the moment, so. Like I'm doing this because I enjoy doing this sort of thing, but I don't want it to be so complex that it takes days and days to do. I just, I don't, I don't want it to be that kind of project for me. I just want it to be a little bit of fun. So, and, and that's the beauty of them, really. You can make them as complicated or as simple and fun as you like, like, some people are, are very technical and they look gorgeous. They look just like field notes um, and they're lovely. I just don't have the time for that at the moment. So 
I hope you like what I've done. I really am still enjoying this project. I'm glad I'm keeping it simple though. Otherwise I don't think I would have been able to continue with it. So there we go. I will see you next week with my um, completed... I might piece together a butterfly. I'm not exactly sure but I'm happy with the background. I wanted to have a you know, a bit of flowers in there because it's summery and it looks light and pretty. So, okay, that's my page so far. So thank you for joining me today. And I'll put all the details to the Roxy Sisters channels in the description box below if you want to take part in any of their projects. I'm, I'm sure they have like a playlist on their channel and you'll be able to just go backwards and find the beginning of a project that way. So take care, everybody. Bye.